squaring both sides. If you can't see, it's actually like this here. So I'm going to multiply the two in for the two terms on the power side. All right. So next, let's take ln both sides. So you'll get 2x minus 2 equal to ln x. Now notice this one is much shorter. If you can see that you do not want the square root, you can handle it as your first step instead of taking ln as your first step. Okay, let's move on to question part 2. On the same axis, sketch and label the graphs of y equal to ln x and the straight line from part 1. Now let's take a look at logarithm graph here. Logarithm graph has a special features of asymptote. How do you know what asymptote is? Remember logarithm cannot take 0 over here. So taking this x equate to 0, this one will be asymptote of your graph. Now we all know that x equals to 0 is 